Hey guys, Jacob here. This is going to be another Division 2 video. A lot of people lately have been asking me how I got to level 30 within the early release. And it's actually really not that difficult. It's actually pretty simple. But I'm actually going to go over and tell you guys how exactly I got to level 30. And a few ways you can get to level 30 pretty quickly. And a few ways that a lot of people kind of ignore. And try to focus on stuff like just going around, um, doing the missions, and thinking there's not really any other ways to get XP. But um, here are a few ways that you guys can get XP. First of all, when you guys get into the game and do the first few missions, I guess, or go around getting the Shade Tech, I suggest buying the XP boosters that are in the base of Ops under your skills, or uh, I bet your perks, um, and buy those. They don't give you a shit ton of XP, but they give you a small boost just so you can get a little bit more XP in general so you guys can farm a little bit quicker and also get more XP for killing people. Next on the list is uh, kind of obvious. Um, that's doing all your main missions. I've done all mine already. Uh, since I'm on invaded already and I'm on tier 2 so if you do these you can get XP from doing those and you get a lot of XP for doing the missions as well singles for side missions I recommend doing those um, you guys can see here this one gives a decent amount of XP I actually haven't done that one yet and you can see the level on it uh, so I suggest going around doing all those missions so you guys can get your character leveled up and try to get them done early as possible or run around with your friend and just you know go through them and play them the next thing on the list is going to be the settlements. Uh, a lot of people, my, people, my friends list have been ignoring the settlements for some reason. Um, they're mostly focusing on the main missions, but I suggest doing the settlements due to the fact that they actually give you a lot of XP if you complete them. And uh, some of them are a little bit, you know, challenging, I guess, for some people to do them. But um, some of them are pretty easy. You just have to collect, you know, materials and uh, maybe kill a few things, and that's about it. Uh, next, also keep all your weapons in your gear. So. A lot of my friends have been deconstructing them and selling them or using them for the crafting bench and re-rolling them at an early level. I don't recommend doing that because tier 5 is not even out yet and there's no point re-rolling some of the you know, guns and stuff like that. But that's just keeping all the gear because you can turn those into the settlements and they might ask for 3 vests or 2 knee pads, 2 pairs of gloves, stuff like that. So I highly recommend keeping a few of those items even if they're blue or purple, whatever. Um, just keep them in your stash so you can give those to the settlements so you can get a decent amount of XP for them. Now, another thing you could do is, you know, doing missions with your friends, obviously. This is from the Capitol building, which you have to be level 30 to access, obviously, which I know. Um, but if you're around doing, I guess, say, the if they're on their tier and you join their game, like, good example, when my buddies was giving me some decent gear that was higher level than me when I first um, got to level 30, and that's how I got some of the gear I have now that... That's why I'm close to um, 430 gear score because one of my friends gave me some stuff like that and I also picked some stuff off the ground that was way higher gear score than me. Um, but just remember that. Um, but that's another quick way as well. Now the next one um, in general is just going around doing all of the, I guess, hard points, um, stuff like that, or doing all these the side quests like the miniature ones, like the propaganda, the execution, stuff like that and you can go around and do those um, so those give you a lot of XP as well or something like, uh, like I said the um, the points you guys can take back like the uh, patrol points and those give you a decent amount of XP as well and actually give you a decent amount of loot uh, so you can go around doing those and completing them that's actually how I got to level 30 at the end there because I was a little bit short and I did not have enough XP to get to the next level um, but after that I was level 30 and I got to the capital mission and I did it and it allowed me to get the end game um, another thing too you guys should note make sure you guys buy at least a healing skill to begin the game if that's the kim launcher or if that's something like the drone that heals you the fixer but um, that's just a note there so that will actually help you get to the missions a little bit easier but that's gonna be on it guys thank you all for watching I know this video is really short but that's just how I got to level 30. I know it's not a big explanation. Um, but just do your missions, do your control points, do all the side quests possible. And some of the levels might be two levels behind you, but you can still get through them. And like I did, I did a level mission that was, I think, level, I was level 5, and it was like level 7. So it was a few levels higher than me, but I got it done, and that's how I got a decent amount of XP. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one.